Fox is better than NBC. Changed my mind. I've been wanting to do this video for the past year or so. After all, broadcasting is a huge part of the NASCAR experience for both fans and casual audience members watching at home on TV. And I feel like now is the appropriate time to do this, as Fox has had a majority of their season and NBC had their first race last weekend at Indy. So, this is going to be quite a bit of a hot take, but I'm going to tell you why Fox Sports is secretly the GOAT of NASCAR broadcasting. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm excluding the truck series. The Fox truck broadcasts have a variety of issues unrelated to Cup and Xfinity, mainly because they have a monopoly and there's really no incentive to increase quality and to better themselves compared to NBC. I'd love to throw my hat into the ring on how to fix Fox truck broadcasts, but that's going to be for another time. So really, this story goes back to June 2019. You had Darrell Waltrip, who was the heart and soul of Fox for 19 years, finally decide to hang up the mic after being with the network since day one. That left a huge hole for the traditional three-man booth, and a lot of people speculated where Fox Sports was going to go for a potential replacement. Where Fox Sports ended up going was rather unconventional considering the times, as they decided to convert to a two-man booth. You would have Mike Joy as the play-by-play -play guy, which he's done since day one. And then you would have Jeff Gordon as the now only color commentator for the network in their portion of the season. And now, believe it or not, this booth actually made quite a bit of NASCAR history. Starting with the 2020 Daytona 500, this would be the first NASCAR Cup Series booth without a predominantly Southern personality at least before the Fox NBC mega deal that was signed back in 2001. And now, with NASCAR being a predominantly Southern sport, the fans loved seeing some of these personalities like Darrell Waltrip, Kyle Petty, Benny Parsons. They worked really well and they provided such exciting moments for the fans. And so most certainly with this unconventional approach, many people were worried about what the Fox booth would look like once it started and whether you would see a lot of awkwardness with only two people instead of three. 15 races in, I'm gonna say this. Darrell Waltrip, he's definitely a Hall of Fame commentator, but him retiring has to be one of the greatest things to happen to Fox Sports in a long time. In many situations, less is more, and in the case for the Fox booth, that has definitely been the case. And now, of course, much like the 19 previous seasons, you still have Mike Joy, he is a national treasure as he can make any moment in NASCAR very authentic and professional. And in fact, a lot of this can come unscripted. Just see Talladega a couple weeks ago. He is definitely the gold standard of play-by-play. -play. And as a potential aspiring commentator myself, I definitely look up to his style every time he gets behind the mic. Now, really, the greatest to this transition as been Jeff Gordon as, after all, he doesn't have DW constantly interrupting him and ruining his statements. So after watching Jeff Gordon by himself for 15 races, I'll say this, he may miss things that are completely oblivious and he's not the most enthusiastic commentator, but without a doubt, he makes up for this by being very informative and he can explain things very well on the track. In my mind, compared to the NBC color commentators, he does the best job of explaining things such as side force and some of the other conditions these NASCAR drivers have to go through during a race. His commentating style is very unique, very underrated, and maybe I'll go more into depth on why he's such a game changer for NASCAR broadcasting maybe in the near future. Now, while not in the booth, Larry Mack plays a pivotal role into the broadcast by explaining the strategy and some of the stuff on pit cycles. And as you've seen over the past 20 years, Larry Mack has a great personality and he definitely provides a lot to the broadcast. So with Mike Joy as the play-by-play, -play, Jeff Gordon as the color commentator, and Larry Mack as the strategist, it gives Fox a very organized broadcast to its viewers. You can definitely tell they have great chemistry as everything flows naturally, whereas NBC oftentimes tries to force storylines and excitement, and sometimes the conversations between each other can get pretty awkward. 
Meanwhile, the humor has definitely been a lot better, especially with it being more focused on the race instead of some cheesy DW one-liner. Now, there are some rumors that Clint Boyer may join Fox at season's end, and I just want to say this, I do not want to see Clint Boyer join the booth. I can see him being more of an at-the-track guy, kind of like Michael Walter, but maybe a little bit more advanced. Right now, I think the Fox booth is near perfect, and I don't want to see them try to split that up to try to add a minute or two of excitement per race. Speaking of Clint Boyer, he's played a very pivotal role in the NASCAR Xfinity Series booth for FS1 this season. And now, I'll say this, back in 2015, I was very disappointed they didn't go with Mike Joy, Daryl Waltrip, and Larry McReynolds for the main Xfinity booth. However, seeing what this booth has became in the past six years, I am definitely impressed with how informative and how on par they are with the Cup Series booth itself. It all starts with Adam Alexander, as he has gotten a lot better since his days on TNT. I feel like he was a little bit inexperienced when he first got the job, and now he's had a little bit of time to work under the folds of Mike Joy. And I think whenever Mike Joy decides to eventually retire, which is going to be a very sad day, I think Adam Alexander is going to be a worthy replacement in the near future. Meanwhile, Jamie McMurray and Regan Smith have also been strong color commentators. But really, the thing that makes this booth so dynamic, so good, is the rotation of cup drivers in the booth. Whether it's Brad Keselowski, the Bush brothers, or even Eric Almirola, this really keeps the Fox presentation up to date with the times, and it definitely makes the NBC booth for Xfinity rather outdated. I mean, after all, you've got a guy commentating races and hasn't even set foot in an Xfinity car since 2009. Now, it's not just the commentating that makes a network. In radio it would, but the thing is, you're only listening. With TV, you're actually seeing things and engaging with stuff on the screen. The main element you're seeing during the race is the vertical style ticker going across the left side of the screen. Now, when this was first unveiled, I know a lot of people hated it. But honestly, what I saw from this was Fox elevating their NASCAR broadcast coverage to the next level. I mean, just look at it. It was unlike anything of its kind. You can see the top 20 in the field at almost all times. And it's great for a viewer like me that likes to see the comers and goers and also keep a close eye on NASCAR Fantasy. And comparing this to past tickers from NBC and TNT, it uses up the screen very well as there's not just a blank space that really takes up a lot of the screen. The only issue I have with the ticker itself is I think it needs to be bolded as sometimes the lettering and the numbers can be hard to read. But fortunately, in that aspect, I definitely see the Fox ticker changing next season. After all, you've seen it the past couple years. When Fox typically gets the Super Bowl for the next football season, they typically roll out new graphics. So definitely, it'll be interesting to see what new graphics potentially roll out for the 2021 Daytona 500. I expect Fox Sports, with their excellence, to take it up to the next level and create something even more unique than before. However, the thing I've noticed that's really made the Fox Sports coverage a lot better this year has definitely been their camera angles. I definitely noticed in 2018, they struggled a bit with their camera angles because I think the new ticker kind of threw them off a bit. But as I've seen over the past three years, they better adjusted around the ticker and that way we've seen some much better action and better glimpses of the racing on the track. This one may be because of the new arrow package, but I've noticed a lot more side-by-side -side battles and passes for the lead on the Fox broadcast in the past couple seasons. As a NASCAR fan, that's what you want to see on the broadcast, and with more of that from Fox Sports, it's definitely made the broadcast a lot more exciting and fun to watch. Meanwhile, they've also gotten very innovative. Take, for example, Drone Cam this year. It's portrayed a very different, very unconventional look at what you're used to seeing on a racely basis. Besides the onboard cameras and the visor cam, this is the closest that it can get to the track. And I certainly hope whenever fans come back to the track and drone cam further evolves, they continue to take this to the next level and make it a central point of their broadcast. Now, if you want my complete honesty, there are a couple issues with the Fox broadcast. The first one is I've noticed the quality is a little bit of a downgrade compared to NBC, 
I believe they still upload the races in 720p as hopefully for the next year they move up to 1080 or maybe even 4k as that would look even more innovative. And then I would say maybe a little bit too many side cameras but really the number one thing they need to change is they need to cut down on their commercials a little bit. And that's the main reason why I've heard people say they think Fox isn't going to renew come the new TV deal in 2025. But honestly, I think there's still a good 80 to 90% chance we're going to see NASCAR on Fox for many decades to come. From what I've heard, Fox greatly overbid for the NASCAR coverage back in 2015. And that may be able to explain the immense amount of commercials sometimes and the onboard cameras. However, what you've got to keep in mind is the next NASCAR TV deal is likely going to be a lot less money. So I think that's going to work a lot better in getting some of these broadcasting partners to sign on for a longer term. And plus, the other thing is, what is Fox going to replace their NASCAR slot with? Just take a look at the spring schedule for Fox. They have, or may I say had the XFL. You have Major League Soccer, Major League Baseball, and then sprinkle in a couple UFC fights here and there. I have a hard time believing those sports would do a good job filling the void that the NASCAR coverage currently has if Fox decides to get rid of them. After all, they broadcast a good 9-10 to 10 races on the main Fox network in the spring, which is another reason why they're better than NBC. And when it comes down to it, NASCAR has a good amount of sponsors buying into the broadcast, they get a good amount of TV viewers. I just cannot see Fox abandoning NASCAR after all these years and having a potential big void. The only way I could see Fox ditching NASCAR is if they get the rights to the NBA or NHL, which I just don't see happening. So in the end, NASCAR and Fox has some great NASCAR coverage and there's a lot to be optimistic about for the near future. And you can just tell with the races this season, they've had some great moments, spectacular races, and TV ratings have went up 8% year to year. They've definitely shown this year that they can succeed in a post Waltrip environment and keep things very professional and exciting. Most definitely, the worst part about the Fox broadcast is going to be this Wednesday when they sign off for the final time and then you know they don't broadcast a race until next February. So anyways... This is NRF signing out, and just remember, life's a beach, and then you drive.